Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia, picking things up for our co-op campaign with Mr. Smoke Donkey here. Hello. And uh, back to my turn. I yes. have a bunch of armies sitting out here, as he said, and they're going to get more Captain Red News. Actually, they're going to get more generals joining the fray. I'm going to see who are available for assignments right now. Ventral is the only one. We only have one assignment right now. Ventral is trying to level up from this. We're actually keeping everyone happy from this. And matter of fact, he ranked up. Probably want reach on him. Oh, his unique skill. His unique skill. Actually, his unique skill. Got that roar going. Nothing to build. I'm probably going to save money for a little bit. Um, I'm going to wait for them to get a little bit stronger to come back and fight us. And meanwhile, all the armies are just going to sit put. I actually might just end my turn. There's like nothing for me to do. Sure. I can ask for some cash, but like I don't really need to. No. Domian wants peace. I'd like to yeah. think that that yellow turban rebellion that you've got in your land is just like super afraid now because there's like six, seven generals standing there around. Luna. <laughs> like they, maybe they think that's all for them. It's like, oh shit. What we I do? mean, technically right now it is. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. They're not doing anything else, so... That replenishment's so slow right now. Can't do much with them. Did you see anything with Leo Biao? Nope. Okay. No vision of him. Your was probably going to take the trade pool, which I don't like. Wang Quan failed. Wang Quan, you're useless. What a loser. If he took the trade pool, it'd be an easy target for me. But now, Yuan will make things a little bit more complicated. Oh, Rebellion's coming in. Oh! They came in for the fight, and uh, <laughs> I almost want to say fight just just to see this many generals on the field. But it's up to you if you sure, want to delegate it. Sure, let's fight it. Let's okay. show up. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so we got two, four, seven unique generals, and then a bunch of retinues. Eight, eight. I think I have eight. Oh wait. Oh, one of them didn't reinforce. Oh, only. Oh yeah, there's only oh, maximum of four yes, armies that can thing. show up, and the garrison took a spot, so it could have been eight. Oh, but she's not joining us. What a shame. What a lazy bum. If I sat her inside the garrison, though, that would have been the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course the garrison has to, because... Wait, yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's... Oh, she, wait, the garrison, is she attacking the town? She's, a, she's attacking the city How and is dragging all the generals okay. to reinforce the city. Because I think the rebels is programmed to just only attack the city. Probably, yeah. I thought she maybe would be getting stuck on the area of influence around your generals, but I guess if it's in range, then it's still possible. Yeah, I think you can you can select like which target within a range to attack. Yeah, exactly. When you attack, the zone is cancelled, right? Because otherwise yeah. you can never attack someone if the zone's always active. Yeah. Right. Well, it should be a, a weird, interesting battle. I mean, I have more manpower than her, too. So yeah, it's not like it's a difficult battle. I just wanted to see this many generals. <laughs> it's a shame one of them didn't show, but yeah, close enough. Yeah. I mean, we can see the, the two sons with their bonus you know, oh, yes. work together. I haven't Family seen that strong. Together yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's annoying, because aren't they, like, all commanders as well? Yes. I yeah, think like, every single Yang Clan members are commanders. Yeah, like, you wouldn't really put commanders generally in the same army. So it's just, like... I can I can make them traveling companions. Like, two armies with, that's like... That's true, yeah. I feel like that's the Captain only Red real, News. like, legitimate yeah. way. Because, obviously, you, I mean, you can put multiple commanders. But and then, like, they that. would give the formation over to the Captain Renews, too. Yeah. So they would actually work well, I think. It's a different play style, yeah. I suppose. Right. Eventually, eventually, I'll probably go down that route once I get more money. Right now, cash is uh, a little tight. Tight, tight, tight. Yeah. I think if I save money for about two more turns, I probably should be able to afford a bigger group. All right, so we're scattered everywhere. Yeah. They're on that side. Okay. I mean... Yeah, they're split up as well. Is, is, I'll give you units as we proceed. Sure, there's, yeah. there's nothing to do here. You can take. Wait, let me let, let them let them filter in. <laughs> um, Taking time, no worries. Oh, here I'll give you Jungle to play around with. I'll give you Joel Tide to play around with. I'll take the brothers for a spin. Sounds good. I'm just gonna go straight at the uh, nearest army for both of them. What's the speed of these guys? 131, 107, something like that. Oh wow, one of the healers actually wants to duel me. 
Mm, I prefer if they stay alive. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm not going to. Plus, the, yeah. that's the one who's super far away. Oh, no, not, not your, not our general stay alive. I'm, I prefer yeah, their yeah, general stay no, alive. I get that. I get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. But I. Uh, that was that's that lady is super far away, so I'm not gonna bother. The buff is active. So it's base damage, or yeah, melee damage based on armor, melee charge rate, uh, bonus, and melee attack rate. The attack rate is probably it's the actually best perk. pretty insane. Yeah, yeah that it's actually pretty like insane. 45, Forty-five attack rate. Yeah, that's a, that's I don't have a good, good weapon on the young, the older brother, but I have a good weapon on the younger brother, so I could do stuff. Yeah. I should probably just want to stop this group. I don't want her to die. Oh, you're tearing them up over there too. I mean, I literally just got here. It was just the towers basically destroy everything. Charge. Yeah, this is just a suicide attempt by the Yellow Turbans. Yeah. Even if I didn't have the generals, I think the garrison... I mean, I guess the general might be a little weird, but like overall, maybe I just need one general to show up and then it's over. Ah, he's willing to duel. Not the right brother, though. The younger brother is willing to duel. Oh, but I can get experience. No, I don't want to kill her, though. That officer item, still kind of want that. Hack her a few times. Just because our dad is dead doesn't mean the Yuan clan is dead. Certainly not. Although she seems to have a faster horse. There we go. Finally got a few whacks on her. Alright, she's, she's starting to route. Is that it? No, oh, there we go. What a battle. <laughs> right. The defense of the capital. Yeah, actually. Sounds fancier than it is. Yeah, it's, exactly. <laughs> like, the capital. Liu Yang was under attack by yellow turbans. You can write a whole story yeah. about this. <laughs> The combined effort of many of the Yuan clan's higher ups managed to defeat the Yellow Turbans. Uh, glorious victory. Yeah, forced us to use our whole court. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I caught her. Time to get that officer item from her. Get a little bit more gold from them as well. All right, it's my turn. Got a lot of characters show up in the pool this time. Oh my god! Oh, generic this turn. This time. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! I what? have Li Ru, Zhang Liao, and Lu Bu. Nice. Holy so shit. The, the, it's because of the the, the civil, civil war. war event. Yeah. So my question is, why did Li Ru? Oh wait, I extracted him, didn't I? See, he never came back. Maybe because the Civil War event triggered before he came back, so he Maybe. just left. Oh my god, I have no He's idea not my spy, don't worry. Happy. Okay, yeah, that's what I was looking at as well right away. Hmm. <laughs> don't, don't worry. He's not willing He's to not spy my for spy. me. Hmm. It's because the Civil War event triggered, I think. Okay. Before he came officially came back to me. Well, I feel like I'd be doing the fans a disservice if I didn't recruit all three of these. Yeah. I mean, Definitely Lubu, come on. How, okay, well, first question is, can I keep Lubu happy? That's going to be a big question. I should be able to give him a position at least. Uh, right, well, let's recruit them all. Oh, I haven't got the money, but I hopefully can... Yeah, I can cancel some buildings if I have to, which I think I will. Unless I can sell some food. Well, let's start by recruiting Lubu, because he's definitely number one on everyone's list there. Welcome. Oh, and he's brought his... Uh, all of his unique items. He is currently at zero. Okay. Satisfaction. You got to give him position. Yeah. Let's just see how much math. Okay. So he's actually on minus six right now. Okay. So if I sh give him Chancellor, that's 108. Yeah. He's 100% happy. Cool. That's definitely going to happen. Oh, I kind of want him to be in like one of those um, positions where I get the, um, what do you call it? Um, the missions? Yeah. The missions. I feel like he could hmm. maybe give some cool unique missions or something, but I don't know. Right, you, so could, he is... you could swap them before you... Did you assign him yet? I've already signed him, yeah. I mean, it was okay, like... Yeah. As I clicked it, I was like, wait! But then... Yeah, that's alright. You can just... When you get a rank up again, you can shuffle him around. 
Yeah, exactly, yeah. Right, so he's brought Red Hair and Sky Piercer, and has also brought, nicely, a Stone Archer. How very kind of him. <laughs> uh, right, so then, obviously, we're going to have to bring Zhang Liao into our faction as well. He's also pretty good. And he's also bringing some cool items, nothing too crazy. He's actually super satisfied already. He does want to hire for core position, but not super badly. He's got a Heavenly Sword, Military Instructor, and Iron Archer. Ooh, Iron Archer is pretty good. Okay, and then I think we're going to bring Li Ru in as well. There's also a bunch of other people, but unless they're like unique or brilliant or something, I'm not really too interested. A couple bright people. Bright always throws me off because it looks like brilliant. I'm like, yes, and then, oh, never mind. <laughs> I yeah, that symbol. Yeah. You're so happy when you see it and then you look at yeah, it. Yeah, like, and it's ah. always bright, so 90% of the time. Alright, yeah, none of these are super exciting. Alright, you can all bugger off. Uh, let's see, can I reach... I can actually reach the town, which might give me enough money to take... Or to recruit that person. Although, there's a good chance he's actually got his army in that place, so I may have to siege him out. But we can get to... Well, let's just try it out, I guess. Attack that place. There is an army. Ah, it's a small army. Yeah, it's not just his the son. army. Right. Uh, well, I mean, guess we just fight this and then hopefully I'll yep. get enough money to recruit Liru as well. You Man, both will. our courts are just like crazy. So the one time there isn't an extra garrison, he's actually got a character in there with a couple units. Again, not really does he have a problem, but. Does he have a, a, a miniature right there? Or. No, 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 just the character, I mean. Like, the, the, okay. the actual army, basically. But it's okay. I mean, it's probably not Faction Wipe. I'm guessing he has his... Like, he's probably on the field somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, Unless I he got so. destroyed already. I don't know. Hmm. I guess that's it's possible, possible, but... Yeah. Yeah. Man, Lu Bu and Zhang Liao. Nice. Good pickups. Yeah. How... Civil War paid off. It's, yeah, for me it certainly did. Do you know how old uh, Li Ru is? Uh, he's not too old. Okay, because I didn't actually like he's look not, at him too He's much. not almost dead. You can still use him. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. You can check age. Of... You can check age before you pick him up. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, unless yeah. he's like 67 or something, I'm not going to... I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I will definitely have him. I think this corner here looks good. I guess I could do the thing where I hide, but there's not really a lot of hiding in this. Well, it's on the other side, I guess. But... It's okay. It's not a particularly large army you have to contend with. Put the trebuchet there. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm just going to give you all the cab and tau tau. Let's put all the infantry here. Alright. Just blow a hole in the wall. Now, uh... I need to get an army for Dubu going as fast as possible because you waste not to use him. Right. He's not too young either. No. Yeah, but I mean, young enough that you're gonna get him for like at least next, you know, 40, 50 turns, no problem. Isn't the the whole Fate's Divine thing in the in the um, trailer and everything? Tao Tao actually kills Lubu, doesn't he? Yeah, he executes Lubu. Yeah. So yeah. I'm sure. It I mean, Tao Tao was tempted to, to keep him, but uh, Liu Bei recommended that it's better to execute based on his past yeah. history of betrayals. He does love a good betrayal, doesn't he? <laughs> Only when the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> I might get a two for one here with this wall. Right, right. It looks like it. Well, as one. I may as well destroy the bit as well. Get myself a nice large gap. Good accuracy, boys. Are we just charging right after? Is that the goal? Yeah, I think we'll do the same as before. <laughs> it, it works. Okay. I might uh, try and blow up another t the tower on the corner if I have the ammo for it. Probably won't, but let's give it a try. It's not. It's actually like fairly close. There's one hit. Three more hits, and four ammo, so twelve shot or sixteen shots total. That's a good old miss. Can I get one lucky shot? 
There we hits. go. Oh, two more. It's gonna be. It's gonna get one more hit, and then it's gonna. That's gonna be it. Oh, never mind. Two hits on one Ooh, shot. Crushed it. Got one shot left. All right, fire at will. Whoever you want to fire <laughs> at, do it. It's like feeling lucky today. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So who do you want to go first? They're moving the spear in the front. Um. um that's a good point. I'll start sending up the infantry, and I think we're just gonna have to try and push through with Cao Cao and Xiao Dun. All right. Make a turn around, basically. I'll, I'll, I'll head over there. Yep. I mean, you being dismounted is not so bad. You have that hamstring yeah, that yeah, you can Yeah, hamstring actually kind of works really well dismounted. What does Kwai Pao mean? What? Like, basically when I give oh, an Kwai order... Oh, Kwai Uh, go fast. Okay. Like, run fast. Cool. I figured it would be something like that. Usually it's always like, go or attack or whatever, but... Right. Yeah. Right. I think I'll just send him in to get dismounted, basically. And then I'll... Uh, sure. I've got Arch there as well. And then I'll uh, try and disturb, disturb the formation so you can get in after. Oh, of course. <laughs> when you want to be dismounted, <laughs> yeah. and they don't want you to be dismounted. Oh I'm gonna squeeze by. Yep. Yeah, well, if I'm not gonna get dismounted, I may as well try and get through and dis disrupt them a little bit. Uh, go shield wall to take less damage, but yeah, just get through. All right, we're gonna probably want to flank charge these infantry once our infantry hits them. Yep. Sounds good. And then I'll boost them once our infantry hit them. Yep. Oh, they're pulling. That works too. Still one unit left. They're spreading out a little bit. Get in there now. around. Oh, it's out, it's out. Xiao Huzun together. I'll be your jump attack. It's a good old mosh bit in the middle again. Here. Might not be able to fit through that tight space though. I wonder how many battles I fought that were in sieges. <laughs> yeah, you've been taking town after town. Yeah. Town, I think all of them are sieges, town. mostly. I think the uh, obviously the beginning battle. Yeah. That wasn't a siege, and, and then I think. And I think after that, one. every single one has been sieges. Maybe yeah. Uh, it's been a lot of sieges. And I guess anything that wasn't a siege was a delegate. Did you run to any armies on the field though? I think Taotian was like sitting. Well, I mean, like minor minor towns. Field. I think there might have been a field battle at some point early on. I'm not sure. Like where I attacked the farm, and then it, the farm I had to. Obviously, it's like a field battle. Oh battle? right, right. Maybe no. Maybe, yeah. but yeah, like for the most part, it's been sieges. I mean, we broke through. Yep. Somehow, ha still have yet to get dismounted. I don't know what. Yeah, it's like when well, you're looking forward to using your <laughs> yeah. ability on the ground. Like, I like, can nope, manually dismount, but I don't want to do that. But just dismount me already. I think I'm definitely going to end up with, uh, at the end of the campaign, 
most kills, uh, or like general the most kills, Shagudun. Or honestly, it could be <laughs> Maybe he's well. gonna give, a, give you a run for the Yeah, run. actually, now that he's joined, he, he might just uh, try and take that. Some men up on the wall to kill those archers. Alright, Quandu's son. We'll ignore him. <laughs> He's not worth my time. Yeah, too hard to kill. Let me get the units. There's some casual scholars walking around. Oh, like the random civilians thing. Yeah. They're well dressed. Wonder if they'll get killed. Oh yeah. Your horses oh man, your man's just trampling scholars right now. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man. Repeated trampling. This is brutal. Oh yeah, I see some of them now. Well, you know, you gotta be brutal sometimes. Show the people that you're not messing around. Oh, you, uh, <laughs> one of the calves that you destroyed came back from riding, but you captured the gate, so they're having to run all the way around now you're to like, try and get back inside. can't come back in to help. <laughs> the route boys there's no victory to be had today just give up <laughs> they're just standing outside the our gate now like oh what are we supposed to do like we can't get back in let's dismount and climb <laughs> <laughs> if only the AI, the AI did that they pretty much dismount during siege battles it's really weird like their cavalry just if it's their offensive siege they would just dismount oh yeah god i've i've only ever fought like a handful of defensive siege battles it just doesn't happen very right. often it's it's hard for them to actually attack you when they're not favored yeah there's no space for our units Soon enough, I think. Shao Dun actually down to half health. Well, I wonder if that guy would have jeweled me. Doesn't want to jewel. Damn. Rip. It's double speeded now. It really is just a matter of. Waiting until they all route. Oh, yeah, I've got those uh, units that are burning stuff around them if they're idle. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like that's been happening. Alright. This group routed. Cool. They should route. They should all route soon. That's routing. The sun's still alive. 
Yeah. We got this. I got the city center. We're gonna go sit here. I don't wanna get shot by these towers. Let's see. Oh, you guys had cleaned it up. Yeah, they're all bouncing back. They're not routing. They're not. The, the pathfinding is just really bad. Yeah. We're almost there. Shadowdun is arriving on the scene as well. Boy, that's our victory point. Give you guys a boost. Come here, man. I'm gonna kill you. Shao doing the slapping Huang Shi. There we go. We're all dropping. There he goes. That's it. Alright. Cool. Let's see if that's a faction wipe or not. And I need to make sure I don't forget to recruit Luru. <laughs> That was real <laughs> sad. Not that I don't have too many strategists already, but... More the merrier. Yeah. As long as you can afford it, it doesn't really hurt. Yeah, income's still good enough. Let's start looking at building a second army soonish. Lost some more Imperial favor. Occupy that. Faction destroyed. Yeah, I guess his army was dead already. Nice, oh, that's all he has. Yeah. Uh, he is right below me, and he's taking is uh, taking attrition right now. I guess he was on an expedition somewhere, and then that did not work out for him. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe it's opportunity. Maybe, yeah. I mean... Because, you, I mean, Time Out's kind of neutral right now. He's fighting Liu Belts. I don't know how you... You could maybe turn around, wipe out this army, and then, like, go through Heman, and then take back your land in Chen and everything. Yeah. If he comes... If he actually moves into my territory, I'm 100% doing that. If he sails away or whatever, then I yeah. will see. I mean, Liu Bao is sitting pretty back in Xiaoyang right now. He's just sitting there. And he's also on March, so he's not actually replenishing, so... Yeah. Yeah, and indeed, Time Out is peaceful with us because, of course, he... He's not part of that vassalage anymore. Right, I got enough money from that to recruit Luru, or uh, Liru even, sorry, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Hopefully he's not super unhappy. He's level 4 already. He is... Eh, he's alright. He does the ha desire higher core position, but not too shabby. Welcome. He's a bit weird. He's cowardly, which is... Eh, I mean, he gets cunning from it, so it's okay. Uh, yeah, he's all right. He's, oh, he's right, he's a spy. Or his thing is spying. Undercover network cost reduction. Or increase, even. Okay, that's all. Don't want to recruit any more people. Uh, this place has a tax collector. Which... It's got some food buildings, that's fine. And I don't want this Not a bad guy. build. Yeah, I think you like um, you like the tax collectors, don't you? Well, you can get rid of that one, but the rest of the buildings are good too. State workshop, land development. Yeah. All good choices. I want to build the, uh, the garrison building, I think, instead of the tax collector. I think the only reason I keep the tax collector for now is when I get my next um, reform, I can pick up that one on the like commander side, like the yellow side. Mm -hmm. which, you for the public that. order and corruption <clears throat> reduction. Yeah, exactly. I always pick up those four. At but you don't point. build tax collectors. No, no, so I build one tax collector just to get it unlocked and then I get rid of it again. Oh. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think tax collector is it's one of those things like again that I made that decision ages ago. And then um after that of course they changed the court system, so it's much easier to keep loads of happy uh, public order everywhere. But that wasn't the case like as much the case in the beginning. Like when the game well, just I always, came out. I mean, I looked at it and I was like, well, what's the penalty for public order? And I looked at it, I was like, wait, there's really no penalty for public order. So why not just 
keep it negative 100. Yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, if you can deal with our bones constantly, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Either way. I, uh... I'm gonna change it over a little bit. I have, I like having a garrison building. Just in case I can... See, that's back. one building I never build. Yeah, so I saw a comment on your video. People comparing your and my choices. And, um... Or someone comparing your and my choices. And one of them was... Donkey builds... Um... Garrison building, serious trivia builds, tank collector. Have stuff. you played um, A Prince's Smayul? Uh Which one's he, that again? He would. It's, it's a red one. If that helps, he's a vanguard. Yeah, I think that's the only one I did play. He starts in the north, right? Like around Kungsunzan's territory, like a uh, around where you start actually. You want to shoot? Uh, or you want shot? Sorry. He has a special military infrastructure building. I, th I think that's the one I played. Yeah, I played that one boosts of them. Economy. Okay. Yeah I, yeah, I mean, this is... God, that was the first DLC, wasn't it? It's been so... Well, second, yeah, it's technically, a long time. but... Yeah. It's, it's, been, it's been a long time, yeah. It's been yeah. like a uh, year and a half-ish. I think that's the one I played, yeah. I played, I only played one Eight Princes. I never... I didn't hate it. It's just like... They they improved the regular campaign so much, and they all work together, and then that one, all of a sudden, it's just like completely separate, so all the unique characters they've added, you don't see any of them. It just feels like a waste of time. Mm. But as for, as far as the DLC went, I didn't hate it. Uh, anyway, I am going to look up diplomacy real quick. That's what I was going to do. Uh, I can get some more non-aggression pacts. Not really to... Oh, I can get peace with Dong Min. Don't think I want to, but... Out of curiosity. Let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look here. Um, yeah, I don't want a piece out of the Han. Like, I'm not actually going to be taking much more Han now but i still don't think piecing out this guy is worth it plus i mean we're doing the coalition thing it only makes sense to keep murdering him <laughs> right not piecing out um i've got absolutely just tons of food laying around i need to sell this shit, but i've already got a couple of food deals uh soon sir you're rich and very poor in food would you like also you got marriages oh lady Wu, right of course i don't need another commander lady sorry uh, how much money would you pay me for food? A little bit. Okay. Have you got any cool ancillaries? Absolutely none. Okay. Finally, a food deal I can sign up for. Still not a ton of food, but all right. Two hundred three bucks for six food. Sounds good. Two hundred three per turn, of course. Right, then that was him. Anyone else need food? Kong Rong, you could do a little bit of food. I'll provide you with four food. You'll provide me with a bunch of money. Good, another solid deal. Nice. Income's going to start flying up now. Oh my god. There we go. 188 for four more food. Okay. Then... Oh, I'm not going to be able to trade food to Liu Biao now, of course, because I'm a war of him. That's a shame. You want Shu, want food. How much money will you pay me? Yeah, you're the one who doesn't want to pay me much. Screw you. Uh, Liu Chung's on minus two food. Are you finally gonna pay me some good cash? That is better. Okay, I don't want to give you all my food. But that's. Oof. Okay, let's do like that. No, more. Sorry, I've just got so much, so much trading to do right now. It's all good. Finally, found some people who are willing to pay me for food. Uh, all right, so seven food for two eighty-seven. Still not the best deal in the world, but it'll have to do. All right, income is up to three and a half grand per turn. It is certainly time to start looking at building that second army. 
I have some people in mind for it, that's for sure. Wait, how much are you making per turn? Three and a half grand. Okay, that's plenty for army. Yeah, I, it was like two and a half just now, so it went up quite a bit. And I still need to finish off that first army, but I think this is the time I'm going to do that. I'm going to probably save up for a couple turns and just plop an army down in a single go, using your method of that minus 5% army recruitment. Plus, I've right. put in a character in the court now for the minus 10%, so it should actually not be... A lot be, cheaper. Yeah, yeah, make a big difference. Cool. Uh, with that, I think... Ooh, is there actually is there any kind of buff from the um, schemes to make army recruitment cost cheaper? There isn't. Is I there? don't think so. Off the top of my head. No, that'd be pretty sweet if there was. Uh, oh, there's arrows from the enemy. Plus twenty five percent ammunition for all units. Plus twenty five minutes. You plus. have to be yeah. low supply for that, I believe. Yeah, I saw that as well, which basically never happens. So that's not gonna happen. I mean, you can artificially create that if you want. Yeah, I could force myself, but. Just like split your army, rejoin them, split your army, rejoin them, and the next turn they would have no supplies. It's so much trouble to go through for a little bit extra ammo. Right, I agree. Um, I'm gonna start marching to the revenge tour. Finally, he's on the way. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna send it. Oh yeah, I can see the Huang Kong, uh, Wang Kuang army now that you said that failed. He's just stranded over there. He failed. He should have taken the trade port. I wouldn't have to worry about taking it myself. Do you not want it? Now, I mean, no, eventually was going to take it now. And it's going to be hard for me to get it out of his hands. Oh, like, right, I could I have just attacked Wang Quan, but now it's it's not possible. This one is, uh, you want to choose army right next to it? He's going for it, I think. Okay. It kind of looks like he's going for it. It's all great for me. I'm going to be able to rush it. Um, 3.30. Yeah, pretty so much you, not going to do too much here. Do you play like this often where you just have lots of characters out in the field? Or is this just no, because they're unhappy this is, right this now? Is just, this is just like what I can use right now. Right. Because I can't keep people happy because I lost my... I mean, I lost the guy with the most authority. So yeah. rather than keep, if I want to keep the characters and I don't want them to just sit on the court and be unhappy, I have to kind of put them somewhere. But on the field is probably the best place for them right now. Yeah. Well, suddenly a lot of faction want to pay me for non-aggression pack. Huh. Okay. I'm. I'm. I need money. I mean, let's be real here. Yeah, if you're willing to pay per turn... You want to have a small loan of a million, a million dollars. <laughs> uh, the other one's rather generous. Very generous. I'm uh, pushing it. Okay, I found it. 212 per turn for a non aggression. Sign me up. Maybe a cash deal here is what we need to do. And the bandit saved up quite a bit of cash. Hmm. Not as generous as I would like, but we'll take 690 from him. This has got 69 in it, so it's a victory. In yeah, itself. yeah, it's, it's, yeah, that's a win. You said Swinso was generous? Uh, he was, yeah, he was all right. It wasn't Lady great, Wu. but. Are you looking at marriages? Yes, I am. Yeah. Would you mind if I marry Lady Wu? I'll go for it. Like I wasn't she, gonna grab her. I, I wouldn't be able to grab her daughter. Like it would be. <laughs> <laughs> we, we would be related at that point. All right, Uncle, need to ask you for help. Again? Yeah. Let's 
keep sending this is like a diplomat coming to him every season uncle <laughs> uncle need help again don't you want to avenge father he's like not really <laughs> Like what? Do, what do you mean? What do you mean we gotta avenge him? So you realize your grandmother was just a maid. How dare you, Uncle? You'll pay for this. And uh, Uncle slaps a thousand to me. It's like, okay, go home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. I'm gonna take it and put it to good use here. Hmm, doesn't give me a build slot, but I do need this upgraded eventually, so let's go. Alright, used every cent we got, and let's continue. Ooh, wow, what an offer. Liu Bei wants to buy my Fetter Fan for 41. Wow. He's preparing to, uh, you know, offer it to uh, you know, Zhuge Liang in yeah. the future. <laughs> I'm gonna so reject complete that. Complete Oh, I should check. I forgot to check spy. I wonder if he hired. Actually, does it give you a message if she gets hired? Your spy? You will get a prompt. Yes. Okay, yeah. Then I'll have to wait. I guess she was only. Um, she Liu Bell attacked Yuan Shu's land. Oh. He took the Jade Mine. Oh, shit. Uncle might be skirt. No. <laughs> <laughs> Things are developing. I might lose my trade partner. That's well, I'll what be I'm there worried soon. about. Ooh, Cao Ong has come of age. Got a hurts, okay, He took, and he took the Palace. trade port. Okay, we can avenge our father here. Spy Maybe recruited. take the item off of him soon. But yeah, a Lady Me got rec recruited immediately. Nice! Yeah. Nobody fell for it. It's, yeah. all, it's all about the girls. Cool. Now we're talking. Right. Um, I am going to build that building there. Actually, I need to have a look at my money. I don't want to spend all of it. I want to build something here because I've got all those bonuses here still. Let's go for that one. Got another scheme available again. What is the one that ended? Should be a positive faction one. It's the plus 20 diplomatic relations. Sure. Let's keep that active all the time, I think. Okay, um, then diplomacy, cheeky peek. Well, I can peace out with Liu Biao. Not going to, but interesting. I've got lots of non-aggression packs available as well. Kongju, how much would you pay me for that? Actually, no, I don't want that with you because I'm going to declare war on you at some point. Get out of here. And I can get mon mon or military access with people that I don't really care about. I probably want to take out Liu Chong at some point too, just to bridge that gap between ourselves. I yeah, got sure, no go for it. To trade, so none of that. Ooh, so Her Yi is oh, sitting oh, right there next to me. That does seem like the right opportunity to just take him out real quick. And then I guess I'll build another army in Jiangxia to deal with Runan uh, and Herman yeah. who was in there. I don't think I can afford the whole thing right away, but I'll just get the characters at least. Get Lu Bu out in the field. Right. Uh, oh, wait, actually. Oh, this is one of those awkward things. He's, he's behind the river. So if I attack him, he's just going to run away. Yeah, if he's not on March, it's probably not worth it. Oh, he's on March, actually. That's a good point. Yeah. I'd have to wipe if him. If he's on though. March, then you can just go for it. He can't run away then. Yeah. But I'd have to make sure I'd kill everything off, otherwise, he just runs away afterwards. And then I'd be across the other side of the river. I think I might just wait a turn and then take him out wait, next turn. Is he to your left or to your right? To my left. I can't see it on the map. Well, yeah, then it's fine to be on the other side of the river. Oh, sorry, no, he's, he's on the, it's... like, he's, he's like southwest basically. So there's like almost double river. Be the, oh, like, he's going to have to cross river twice. Right. So you get the auto cross and then you'd be stuck on the other side. Yeah. So I think if I just run towards Ping Yu, then he's going to try and get there as well, I imagine. And I'll just grab him like next turn or something. Right, you don't have to declare war on him until that. He's probably trying to go back, so if you just move towards that, he gets closer to you, wipe him out afterwards. Exactly, yeah. And then I'll still yeah. recruit a couple characters here, and that may, gives me a couple turns to prepare that army. So let's get Lubu. Oh, I can't even recruit Lubu. It's too expensive. Oh, he's, he's brought free heavy Shuyang calf of him, though. Sweet. Actually, no, two heavy and one regular. 
and then I mean, eventually you can afford it, right? Once you get the redeployment discounts on the, you probably get like seventy five percent pretty soon. Uh, that's a point as well. Oh, plus, I need to have a look at my new character. Uh, right. So unless you still haven't changed errors yet, no. <laughs> no, I have, uh, but it is only Lady Beyond. He's not. Oh, she's make... not level high enough, right, for the for the reflex flexibility skill. No, she, I've I've not used her at all. To be fair, so she's only level one. I do have um, Tsao Ren is one level up away from that. Tsao Ong just came of age, but I don't think I want him to be my heir. Oh, he's actually pretty good. He's got modest, brave, dutiful. Yeah, I like him. And he's unique, so. Um, but I'm not going to use him for now. I'm going to take away his unique armor too. Give that back. That's not yours. Right, so... I think I'm, I can't really wait for that. I'm just going to recruit uh, Zhang Liao for now, I guess. Who is actually going to go in his armies? It's going to be Lu Bu, Zhang Liao, and then I need a third person. So that'll be, I guess, depending on happiness, Shun Yu or Li Ru. Yeah, maybe Li Ru. Maybe just recruit the pack. Yeah. Three castaways. Right, let's get Zhang Liao first, and then I'll remove all of his units, basically. He likes Lu Bu, he likes Shun Yu as well, and he doesn't care about Li Ru, so it's probably going to be Shun Yu. Unless Lu Bu hates, but he I think Lu Bu hates just about everyone, doesn't he? Mm, not as bad as that, will do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Right, I think I don't want any of these units, so I'm just going to replace, or just actually get rid of all of them. I guess I could let him replenish and then replace them so it's faster, but no, there's no point. Because I'm going to have to wait for the rest of the army to replenish as well. So I'm just going to remove everything. What about the unique unit? Yeah, he's got Still the one, can. the one should young calf, I'm tempted. Uh, but it's, I don't, I don't know. I, I cannot, this is the thing, like, it's probably the better play, but I cannot deal with that, like, um, like, what do you call that? Where it's not, uh, I, I said this before. <sighs> when Where it's not symmetrical, symmetrical yes, yeah, exactly. So if okay, I have five right. units of something and then one shitty on calf, it's going to drive me nuts. Okay. <laughs> so the, that's the same. The same thing's gonna happen with Lubu. Lubu brought two heavy and one regular, and I'm probably gonna have to get rid of one regular and keep the two heavy, <laughs> just so I can, just so it's symmetrical for me. But maybe, maybe I'll keep them because in that case, it's still four calf and then two infantry. That's okay, even if they're different calf. But yeah, that's just how see. I work. But it feels it feels bad, man, getting rid of a shitty and calf. But anyway, they're gone. Right. So weapons. Uh, Xiang Liao could use dual war axis, but the minus expertise are not super keen on. I think I'll keep the heavenly. Really, is the heavenly sword the best thing I've got for him? I don't want this item. I think we're going to give that to Lu Bu. Take that. Ah, oh, I've used your sneaky method of equipping things. Um. You can keep that. All right, Lubu is decked out other than that, so that's all good. I have... Let's see. I have the military Jian on Yue Jin, so I'll give that to Zhang Liao. So we're going to unequip that. Uh, there it is. Unequip that on him. Okay. Then... Cao Cao, of course, has Trust of God, so I don't need to deal with that. Lady Bian, I'm going to give her, I guess I have to do it next turn, the um, Heavenly Sword, because 12 for 40, it's pretty good. Just for more, oh, do I don't want to do Satisfaction, faction wide, so actually not really relevant. Uh, any other characters that have items that they shouldn't be having? Not really. Yeah, these two axes on you, you should not have those. And the other way, I'm gonna equip, unequip these as well. Actually, oh, don't do that. I did. Okay. Right. Cool. So that's that. Um, so you could recruit nothing else because we're out of money. Like next turn is gonna be the main recruitment happening. Okay. Right. That was a lot of talking. Very little actually happened. So I <laughs> can't trade away food. Uh, I think I'm good. End of turn. All right, revenge time. But first, I'm gonna talk to my uncle again. I'm gonna ask him how much is the trade for it, just so <laughs> I have an idea. Only 13. I can get that if I support him in legitimacy in three turns. Ooh. 
That's actually really cheap. I was expecting more. So what you're saying is I should buy it from him. I mean, you have to border it. Yeah, I know. I'll just have to get over it real quick. <laughs> There's this one minor issue right there. All right, we're going to let the sons lead the attack to avenge the fathers. We're going to have to siege a turn because we don't have siege weapons, but that's fine. Oh, yeah. I might trick them to come out and fight me. Because as long as the units are kind of like ambushed within the zone, I think I can fool them into thinking there's no reinforcements. And they have no night battle, I check that. Oh, I can't ambush this army because there's not enough movement. All right, so movement's gonna hold us back, but whatever. We'll just fight them next turn. Yeah. I don't know if he's actually in reinforcement, so. That's ah, fine. They're not gonna come out. Not against this size. Even if it's only one group in the open field against us. <laughs> the Rocky. That would be foolish. Field. That would be foolish. Okay, so maybe I can trade. Maybe I can just trade it now. It'd just be a little bit more expensive, but I feel like it would open up a lot of other options for us. And also, I could maybe trick him into losing his uh, home territory because Liu Bao's about to take his last piece of land. Then this will become a capital, then I can't take this no matter what. So I got Officer from Yellow Turbans, which we don't really need. Uh, flying daggers is nice, but doesn't really provide any satisfaction. I don't really need the damage boost. So I'm going to trade these all away. 5.8 difference. Can't really offer him any food. I can't really. I can offer him money, basically. And hope he gets wiped. Let's see. 3.4. How much would we have to pay to make 3.4 happen? Oh, not that much. Yeah, I'm gonna just buy it. Sweet. Monopoly money time. Um, 75, 70, two, three. Okay. All right. Four items plus uh, a bunch of money. Not bad. To buy from our uncle. Level two. It's not bad. I. We actually improve our economy. I wish I owned a port. I was gonna say I might own a port, but I don't. I'm bordering a bunch of ports, but. Quite. Otherwise, we could trade right away. Uh, speaking of trade, can I cancel it now? It's been a couple turns. That's interesting. Yes, once you, once you I canceled took... it without nice. losing credibility. Once you took the um, the port, you want to choose army. Got teleported quite far away. Yeah, you get pushed out quite far if you lose the land. That's yeah. usually I actually use that when I make vassals to get a lot of movement for free. Oh yeah, that's good. It's Shogun 2's got a real little exploit like that as well, where you can teleport armies in, like across the entire map, basically. Like, I keep pushing them out. Yeah, it's like it's it's um, like let's say they own um, that's weird to explain, I guess. But yeah, there's basically if you uh, become uh, if you go to peace with someone who has an army in your land. Um, right, then they their get army, pushed out. I remember. Yeah, yeah. the automatic yeah, gets pushed what, out. Yeah. So sometimes you have this thing where their their nearest piece of land where they are allowed to stand is like several provinces over. So they'll be teleported all the way back to their home province, which is just <laughs> like really crazy. It's like, huh? How did you get there? You took the bullet tray. Yeah, the yeah, Shogun Two's got like actual like teleportation, whereas in this they just kind of move a little bit. <laughs> Makes a lot more sense. Because there's no trespassing, of course, in Shogun 2. You have to ask military access, otherwise you're just straight up not allowed in their land. Alright, I'm good. Pretty happy with what happened here. Let's continue. Cool. Oh, Sun Tzu wants a non-aggression pact. I think I might be okay with that. Where am I? I don't really want to go to war with him, because I do want to marry his sister at some point. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I think our relations are good enough. Let's leave it for now. I'm giving you a bunch of food and you're giving me a bunch of money. Let's leave it at that. We need to be friends. I want I want Liu Bao to wipe out Yuan Shu right now. 
he's running back home right now. He's like, got to go back, got to go back. <laughs> Capital got to get attacked. Shit. Uh, Nobel's too slow. Nobel should have made the move already. Like that very favorable deal is actually to get him screwed. Now, Von Quan, I'm also trying to get screwed. I want some food from him. But I probably want... Hmm. Do I want more Han territories right now? It's questionable. He, his army is Ooh, still like between clock. rivers. It's still on the other side? Yeah, he's still between... Like He crossed one river, there's still another river he's got to get past as well. I think I'm still going to declare war on him this turn, though. Could take uh, his first town. He's, he's taking. Can you actually reach turn. him? Can you actually reach him? Uh, the town, yes, I can get. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, are you going? Are you going to ignore his army? Yeah, for oh, now, because yeah. he has. It's to, really weak. He's yeah, it's gonna, really yeah. weak. Damage. He's taking attrition yeah. every single turn as well, so it's like there's no worries. All right, cool. Lots of buildings to be built. I think I might hold off on buildings for a bit just to recruit the army up. Can I get Lu Bu in here now? I can. All right, let's do that. Gonna remove all the units that I don't want, which will leave the Shibiyang calf. Cool. Right. So that will become a. Ooh, all right. I can get my tiger and leopard calf with him. Um. So Shibiyang calf are really high charge, high armor. I should just do this comparison thing. Oh, won't let me. Um, how do you rate Tiger and Leopard Calf personally? You need rank three. No, no. How do you rate them? Like, how, what do you think of them? Uh they're all right. I mean, I think they're good. I mean, compared to what you can usually recruit, right? Compared to uh, other Vanguard Shock Cavalry, yeah, I think they're pretty decent. Uh, they're not too slow. They got yeah, the that's armor what I'm buff. Like, they're not and, super slow. Um, they have a nice little shield. It helps a little. Yeah. Like comparing them to Heavy Tiger and Leopard Calf, I feel like it's not worth it for an extra 50 bucks a turn. Right. I think the basic one's fine. The basic the heavy one's, one's better, kind of yeah. excessive. So like, gonna... It like slows you down, which makes it a lot less good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got a comparison between the Ching Shu Assault Infantry as well now, but I think I'm not going to bother with them. Although they're actually slightly cheaper than the Jian Sword Guards. What are they better at? They've got. Uh, they're just, they're very comparable. Oh, right, their morale's terrible, that's that thing. Okay, yeah. Well, I can't afford any recruitment right now anyway, so that's that for now. Lu Bu, you're going to lead this army, of course, because I want your extra sweet... Never mind. I was going to say, I want your sweet movement speed, but you actually haven't got reach or flexibility, because you've been leveled up completely poorly, but oh well. Um, That's fine. We got a spare herdsman. Do you need a herdsman? Oh, you've got something better. All right, got a couple of level ups. Oh, Lady Beyond finally leveled up. She can. Hmm. If I go for dignity, I get flexion support. I guess that's fine. And then next level up, I can get flexibility, which would be useful. Otherwise, it'd be battle running speed. But I'm not planning on using her anytime soon. So yeah, we will take this faction support buff for now. And then Yujin ranked up as well. Can go for precision or diligence. I'll take diligence for now. He's not actually an army either, so. Right, and then I can have a look at who my final character would be. So Shun Yu, Lu Bu doesn't like him. Uh Li Ru, Lu Bu doesn't like him. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter which one I take then. Probably. Eh, we'll see. Okay. Uh and then I guess we're gonna go take Runan. Declare war on Hoji. Should be all off, yep. Alright. Alright, level up. Who was that? That was Xiao Dun. Sweet. We can get vengeance, so that's his unique thing. What does that do? Uh, enabled if he's not riding under fire, he gets plus 50% melee damage. Both base and armor piercing and mighty knockback for 30 seconds. Wait, is that That's like a, it's a passive there? So it's always enabled, basically, unless you're under fire. 
Right. Don't okay. don't get shot by arrows because you know yeah, one well, eye. On legendary AI never shoots at you though. On the or generals anyway. Yeah. So I mean towers would be the only thing, but aside from that, you'd be fine. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so that's that level up. Sweet. We also got general to guard to end ten battles with generals that have six infantry melee units in their retinue. Okay. And we got loads of rank ups. Cool. Right. I need to. Definitely not forget to give out the title. Um, oh man, I never thought about this, but you can actually, you can like if Lubu joins your faction, you have no way of keeping him happy. If you give him Earth Dragon minus fifty percent desire for higher office, that would probably help quite a bit. Yeah. Certainly, work against his uh, disloyal. Um, but yeah, I need to not forget to give the general of the left for recruitment cost reduction. So I think we'll pass that up to Lubu. We'll do that next turn when I start recruiting the army. My income has significantly dropped though. Um, I guess that's because those cav are incredibly expensive. Yeah, 440 a pop, 300 a pop. Man, that is expensive. Oh well. We'll have to make do. Uh, in Chen, I can build a building. Probably a good idea. Let's go ahead and upgrade this for some more food. Alright. Then I've got another scheme available. We can do... Which one is it that became available? Oh yeah, I can do that uh, moving one again as well. Um, is it flatter to general? Minus 15k population growth, minus 50% retinue upkeep. Meh. Which is the one that did become become available? I'm not sure. Um, I can no, that's useless. Tiger over the mouse was it that one? I think it was that one. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I guess for plus fifteen. Credibility, that's worth it. All right, activate that. And then... Who are you debuffing? Oh, no, I buffed myself. Oh, okay. I don't think I've done, I've used a single debuff yet, but I do now currently have 100 credibility, so I've maxed out now, or whatever the max is. Um, so now I need to start looking at actually using it at some point. Otherwise, it's a bit of a waste. You can always throw into trade deals to make it a little bit better. What was that? You can always throw it into the trade deals. Oh, yeah, that's like a good when you make point, a deal, yeah. just use a couple points. Yeah. That is true. I think I'm going to use the minus 20 food production soon on someone once I get some of my own food, and then I can sell it to them. <laughs> and they'll be like, oh my god, we've lost all our food. Oh, Tsao came to our rescue. What a <laughs> generous man. Yep, like, yep, that's me. Don't forget it. All right, anyway, that is that. So I got five bucks left in the treasury. Let's leave it right there. And you've got a battle, I guess. Yeah, I picked uh, Joel type just so that we get better relationships. Um, this should just be a delegate, I think. With this many army, I don't think it's going to be. Yeah, I'll take medium casualty. doesn't matter. Decisive victory in delegate. <laughs> oh, that was not so bad. 218. How is that medium? I mean, the medium is only based on, like, the first RB. So, like, the general took oh. medium health damage, right. basically. Oh, yeah, I see. Interesting. Like, well. the other two armies, it's totally fine. Um... Is that a way to cheese the system as well, then? No, it, it, I mean, it's it's the same. It's just the display is only telling you the first army. It doesn't mean the other army will take no damage. They will right, still yeah, take yeah, damage accordingly. True. It's just that it's not going to tell you how much damage you're going to take. Okay, gotcha. Which uh, is why I guess I think... it's decisive, but it still says medium because the first army is only three people in there, so they're bound to take some damage. Right. Mm, it's healthy enough. Uh, I also can't cross this turn.
just gonna recall them to heal them up a little bit uh our uncle is running back uh, but Obel's not attacking him which i'm disappointed i actually wanted about to finish him off <laughs> well if Liu Biao doesn't do it i'll get there soon enough he's not he's, he's not yeah he's not making a move i'm bordering Liu Biao mm, now. I, I don't want this peace deal yet let's see which deals i can cancel go 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 oh that's not cancelable until a few more turn two more three more turn so he's gonna have to stay alive. Wang Quan already set up the potential for fight. Zhang Yang, let's negotiate this now. All right, start breaking them early so we can go to war soon. Yeah, that's pretty much all we need to do here. And I have cash, so I think we rush and we can probably still upgrade. I want another building slot, so let's go here. We can put an administrator in the pass, which doesn't do much for us. If we want to upgrade it, I guess construction cost discount. Yeah, it's not useful. We'll save it for Hodong when that happens. Uh, we are one fight away from the Captain Renu rank up, one recruitment away from lineage rank up, and I think we're good to go. Back to you. So that, so that did that not count for a, another battle again? It did. It count. Okay, it okay. went to six. From okay. uh, so we need one more. I need one more. Gotcha. Basically. Ooh. Hong Rong would have paid me twelve hundred forty-five for an aggression pact. Can we get that in money over time? Actually, I might prefer this. Let's have a look how much money he's willing to give me. Uh, that's not going to be a lot more. How much was that? Oh, wait, more than that. 45. Uh, no, I'll take the insta money. It's actually better in this case. Unless you've got some great ancillaries. I actually have loads of ancillaries. Should look at getting rid of some of those at some point. Um, Alright, let's do it. Thanks for the cash, bro. Jerk people said that in ancient China. Thanks Ooh. for the cash, bro. Nobel is moving up. Yeah, he wants to shoot down to his final settlement after you bought the other one off him. <laughs> I mean, sometimes diplomacy get the thing done. Yeah, definitely. Faction council ready to convene. Always good. And we also have a noble birth, Tao Shubao. All right. Son or daughter? Daughter? Uh, sounds kind of like a daughter's name. Yeah, I was going to say, that sounds like a daughter. I didn't actually check. But, uh, uh, what says, a dad. It's Probably a, a daughter because yes, he, yeah. he didn't check. <laughs> Apparently, I had one like a year <laughs> ago, which I didn't even notice. <laughs> it's like, the, just like this, the thing with this is like, because. The game usually doesn't last long enough for me to see my children ever come of age. Hmm. I guess now, I mean, now with the 16, now with 16 maybe. Yeah, you can play see more kids now. Still, eh. Anyway, right. We have a decent bit of money. Oh, I don't know where He Yi's army went, but he didn't cross. Guess we'll see him soon. Right, we are going to pop. So it's got to be Shun Yu, who actually does like Shang Liao, or... Li Ru. I feel like taking Li Ru just because they, the three of them came together, even though they don't necessarily like each other. It just makes sense. Right, Pulse him in. Uh, although I should have looked at traits actually, so let's have a look at. Oh, it's too late now, but what about Shun Yu? What have you got again? You're clever, dutiful, charismatic. Oh yeah, he's actually got 70 points. Eh, yeah, pretty comparable to be honest. This guy starts with Wizard of the River, which is nice. Okay, do I have enough money to recruit the entire thing? Probably not, but before I do anything, let's switch over. Let's give one of the uh, titles out. Uh, who wants the title? Liru, you're the least happy. You might keep it. Although, yeah, I'll give you a different title maybe. For now, Zhang Liao, why don't you take it? So, General of the Left. Here you go. Um, right, so let's have a look at what I could possibly recruit. So we want to have one, 
regular tire and leopard calf, and then two, uh, I guess it's going to be Chingshu spears. Oh, see, this is what I hate. It's whatever. Um, then a load of Jian sword guards. I won't be able to recruit the entire army right now, which means, means I think I'm going to wait one more turn. I wasn't paying all the upkeep for no reason. Uh, the archer militia I will just switch over because I'm paying upkeep. Actually, no, there's no reason to do that either. All right, so not doing any recruitment. Do I want to build anything? I've got, first of all, reform ready. Uh, do I add some more food from farming? 2% replenishment's not bad. Eh, let's take the food. All the food. All right. Then faction council, what do we have here? Character skill tree reset for Lu Bu. Holy shit, that's really good. Is the oil gone? No, it's the, not the trait, but the whole skill tree. Oh, skill tree. Re yeah. oh, what level for, is he? He's level seven. Rebuild. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, it's a great rebuild. Yeah. So I can pick up reach and flexibility and drop some of the more useless things. I mean, he's actually, most of the stuff he's got is pretty good, but definitely going to do that. That's a thousand bucks right there. The other option would be to reduce military supplies on some other rando. Uh, oh, and then we have. Oh wait, never mind. That's useless. Oh, why is it? So the other, for uh, Xiao Hudun, one of his options is plus one starting rank recruit uh, for all recruits in his army. It's like, well, his army is basically full. <laughs> like, what's the point? But yeah. the other one is plus two hundred and fifty bonus experience for units per season. I don't know how much. Do you know that? Like, it's two hundred and fifty for five turns. It, Twelve fifty is that? It's not a lot. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's like, only two hundred bucks. To, to level two, it's about like three thousand experience. Oh, so two hundred bucks for like a quarter to a like a half a level. Eh. Yeah, but it scales up as you go higher rank. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. Still only two hundred bucks, I guess. But the other option is to give Cao Ang two hundred percent experience for ten turns, but he's not currently doing anything, so that's a bit useless. I'm definitely gonna do his character skill tree stuff for Lubu. Xiao Hudun, yeah, all right. For I mean, I might actually recruit those free archers or crossbows this in the next couple of turns. In which case, extra one rank that's worth it for two hundred bucks. So Lubu, let's have a look. Definitely gonna go this way. So flexibility reach. Then we have two points left. We can get the dragon's gaze, smoldering fury, rage of Lubu. We already have so intensity for charge speed, and then we can get battle running speed. That's good. Melee attack rates are really good as well for him. Um, I think I'm going to go with melee attack rate because, I mean, it's Lubu. And then battle running speed. That seems pretty good. Which means we lost Smoldering Fury. But I'm okay with that. Alright, apply that. Boom. Good stuff. That is a solid, solid thing to get. That leaves us with about two grand. I've got a bit of food, but I think I'm going to hold off on selling that unless some food deals just run out. Uh, Liu Bei one is about to run out in two turns. Uh, yeah, no, that's all right. Now, what, what to do with the army in Runan? That's the thing. So uh, there's still her, her Yi's army is still out there somewhere. I don't know where it is, but. It's also taking attrition, so I don't think it's going to be pose much of a threat to the town that we just took. Oh, it's level three. Never mind. Yep, I'm out of here. See ya. I'm going to recruit those final three crossbows now. Uh, yep. All right. So that's a full stack. So let's leave the army there for two turns or so, and then we'll get the heck out of here. And then next turn, we can hopefully recruit most of Lubu's new army. All right. Cool. Uh, I should also give out some equipment to these people. We have that one for you. And I guess I could give you the Heavenly Sword. No, I'll hold off on that. Alright. That's my turn. Alright, you want to end the episode right here? Oh god, yeah, I just realized the time. Sure, that's a pretty <laughs> good idea, yeah. Get, you get lost right, when you're having I'll, fun, right? Yeah, I'll pick things up next time. I'm going to cross the Yellow River and take Hodong, and then probably peace out with uh, Domin after that. Still okay. curious what happens between Liu Bei and Yuan Shu. I don't know who's going to destroy who. They're, they're just maneuvering the their armies show around up and each just other. destroy both of them. Yeah. I, I, Meanwhile, you're probably going to be beating up He Yi for a little while, right? 
I think uh, that's what Lu Bu's army is going to do, and then the Xiao Hu Dun army is going to keep attacking. Well, it's going to start attacking Liu Biao and then probably go after oh, Wanshu okay. afterwards. Well, nice. Okay. Yeah. So I'll trade with you after you wipe out my uncle. Yes. That'll be <laughs> fi finally, we can trade after that. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. Anyway, right. um, yeah, sounds good. All right. See you next time. Have Bye. A good, have a good day. Goodbye.